This video shows the basics of how to use TS Elements for SolidWorks to add organic and freeform shapes to your SolidWorks models. So after you install TS Elements for SolidWorks, you'll want to make sure the add-in is loaded by checking on Tools, Add-ins, and just making sure that these check marks are checked, that TS Elements for SolidWorks is added in there. And what that will do is when you go to the Open menu, then now you'll be able to open T-Spline files and OBJ files as a T-Spline. So let's just show T-Spline files and, and show how this works. So this is a file of a RIM modeled inside T-Splines for Rhino. And now I can read this into SolidWorks. So this will read in and it will initially appear just like an imported surface or solid. Um, T-spline surfaces are mathematically watertight, so this should come in as as a very nice imported body. But what TS Elements for SolidWorks, SolidWorks will let you do is to edit this feature and be able to come in and manipulate the control points, edges, and faces of the actual T-spline's geometry to explore forms in your model. So you can select control points and move them using the SOLIDWORKS triad. You can see that it just updates that shape. Uh, you can also select edges and you can select any of these. You can select multiple just by holding down the shift key and then you can drag them to again just explore different shapes and you can also move the faces of the model as well so let's just make sure we grab that correctly you can just pull it in these two different directions as well um, so after you make these edits, then you can um, accept the changes, and then it will rebuild the model as um, as a SolidWorks body. So let's just show how the how this can fit as inside the SolidWorks feature tree. So here we have the same rim, but we have added additional SolidWorks SolidWorks features um, on top of that. As you can see, here's the rim, and then we've added these additional features. I can still come in here, edit the T-splines feature, and as um, maybe I'll turn on the faces. I don't need to display the vertices or the control polygons when I'm working on the faces. So maybe I'll just grab um, whichever faces I want to move just by holding down the Shift key or the control key to um, subtract a selection. And I can even change the triad to UVN so I can pull in a, along the normal. So whatever changes I want to make to the model, I can do that. And then as long as it hasn't pulled the geometry out so far that the features cannot be rebuilt, um, the feature tree will regenerate and um, this is a way of exploring different forms for your model inside inside SOLIDWORKS with the TS Elements add-in.